One, two, three, four. director of the Thessaloniki Festival, which is the biggest uh, film festival in Greece at the time. Uh, we would like to ask you, what is your opinion about uh, the smaller regional festivals and what do you think is their usefulness? So, uh, you know, the festival's job is to create a link between the directors, between uh, the films and the audience. Um, so that's what we are doing in Thessaloniki. It's, it's called old audience building. Uh, and that's what cinemas are doing and festivals are doing. It's also promotion, of course, of films before they are going on the local market or the world market or even to the um, to broadcasting. It's also a meeting point for the um, professionals so we are doing part of the job in Thessaloniki but I think that everything should not be centralized first you have people who are living in different regions uh, who cannot come to Thessaloniki secondly we are not specialized in children films so I think that um, by being a bit more uh, specific about the topics you can go deeper we are a generalist Film Festival in Thessaloniki. We have a wide range of films from documentary, children film also, but um, films for grown-ups mostly. So we are, it's let's say that we are the international, biggest international film festival, but you have other international film festivals which are, uh, which are dedicated to some genre, animation, children's films, uh, horror films, uh, which have a very targeted and specific audience and they are doing the job. I mean, it's very important. Also, it's very important to cover uh, different territories. And I think that it's good that culture is going to Peloponnese, to a region where maybe uh, you don't have so many um, big international events okay you have the festival of dance you have a lot of things happening uh in uh, near olympia but maybe not as much as uh in a central big cosmopolitan city as athens so it's it's good also to decentralize uh the um the culture uh you also have patras who is doing a lot of things for culture but it's 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 very good that it's not everything in the same uh, place and dedicated to the same genre. And uh, Olympia Film Festival is uh, typically a very important international film festival dedicated to children films, and it's important for the industry and it's important for um, for the audience because you are the audience of tomorrow. Okay. Um, we are not exclusive in Thessaloniki. We are not exclusive. We are working with our colleagues. And it's not good to be exclusive. If there was only one festival in the world, there would be no more cinema. That's right. <laughs> okay. And um, do you find it harder to judge a film by watching it at home uh, rather than watching it at your theater? Uh, yes. <laughs> Yes, it's hard because you always have something that uh, is happening around you. I, I think that the best way to watch a film is to be in a dark environment and to watch it on a big screen. Uh, watching it on a small screen, first, you don't have the same quality of uh, screening. Plus, you always have a child who is asking for uh, 
Pythagore uh, questions, and, and then uh, you have a problem with the kitchen, and then the cat is passing by. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very it's not that easy. Plus, plus it's not a projection. That that means that the, the image is coming from the screen. It's not coming from a projector that is behind you. So it's not very good also for the eyes. Okay. And uh, what do you think would be the effects of the pandemic on cinema? I think that the whole world will be drastically changed. Um, and we are in a... We are switching a uh, world. We are at the, the turn, turn, turning point. Um, the industry will be drastically uh, affected and changed by the uh, effect of pandemia. The distributors will have, uh, it's, it's difficult now for distributors to release the film. There is no theater. And, and even when the theaters will be available, maybe they will close again because of uh, third wave. So nobody will release a film. Nobody will take the risk to invest money to release a film if they are not sure that the theaters are open. And, uh, and there is the big competition of platforms, of streamers. So it's, I think that we have to reinvent ourselves as cinemas. It's not only about films. It's about being together and, and uh, enjoying together a film. Otherwise, talking about cats, I had a cat right just here. Uh, you know, otherwise, uh, it's impossible if you if you if you don't become like a boutique uh, festival or a boutique theater uh, to compete against uh, international um, platforms. Nowadays, you know, I have a friend who is American. He produced two films, two things last year, two things. He was in Berlin. He came to Thessaloniki last year for the 60th anniversary in 2019. So he was shooting in Berlin a series that was completely shot in Berlin for Netflix. And at the same time, he was shooting in Canada a film by Sean Payne. And in Berlin, he was shooting a film, a series, uh, which is called The Queen Gambit. And The Queen Gambit is now on Netflix. And we were talking about all this. And everyone was like, OK, wow, Sean Payne. He's working on Sean Payne film. The result after one year is that Sean Payne film is waiting, I guess, for Cannes. And he will have a release in theaters, but maybe in the best case, 100,000 people will see it, or 2 million people will see it, or... Meanwhile, he finished this series as a producer, he's the main producer, and he cannot believe his eyes. He's waking up in the morning and Queen Gambit is everywhere, and he was not even expecting it. So, you see, it's, it's, we are switching uh, dimension. The little series, that nobody was paying attention last year has become a world phenomena that millions and millions of people have seen. And Sean Penn film was still waiting for it. So what I want to say is we don't know what's gonna come next, but what we know is that um, it won't be the same. One last question. Uh, what do you think of, about this year's films in our festival, for the Dear Film Festival? I yeah. loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, it was fun. Great. Not always fun because you have films which are not always fun. But actually, I watched the. I had to watch the short films, which were very good. I mean, animation and um, live action. It was very difficult to choose a, a film. To win and um, but we did it okay we did it we did the job and now i'm watching the long features okay. and i really enjoy it I, I i love it so i i think that the selection is very good great thank you very much that's all we wanted to ask you you're welcome la, la, la.
Δεν θα το κάνεις καν μοντάζ, το ξέρεις. Ναι.